Hi everyone, it's Michelle Chua from Roots to Rise Yoga and I'm here to explain the various sun salutations since the fall equinox is coming up and traditionally in the yoga practice we practice 108 sun salutations in honor of the change of seasons. But I'm just going to show you the four various types of sun salutations that you might practice a few times of in a way that's sustainable for you. So let's start standing at the very top of the mat and we'll begin with half sun salutation, separating your feet hips width apart. So as you look down at your toes, spread them and parallel your second toes with your arms by your sides, standing tall in mountain pose. Feel your shoulders roll back and down as your pelvis stacks above your ankles. And you might close your eyes before you start moving and just tune in to what's present right now, internal. Observing your breathing, your physical state, what's at the forefront of your attention as you begin this practice. And perhaps even setting an intention which will affect the way you start to breathe and move your body, cultivating the qualities of that intention. Perhaps this is an offering towards something that you are creating space for in your life. So call that to mind so that the movements are sort of like a prayer, a dedication to what you're manifesting. So as you stand tall like a mountain, both rooted in your feet, lifted in your spine, to cultivate a sound in your breathing, which will be your metronome for your movements, paced to your breath. So you can do that by closing the lips, softly narrowing the back of your throat, and sustaining your breath equally, both in and out through your nose, creating a gentle whisper like the sound of even ocean waves. We call this style of breathing Ujjayi Pranayama, which means victorious breath. So now moving to the sound of the breath. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, a salutation to the sun. Exhale, perhaps with bent knees, bow with a long spine. Pressing the earth or your legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine parallel to the ground. Exhale, shift forward to bow on. Rooting down through your feet. Inhale, circle the arms overhead, again saluting the sun. Exhale, join your palms together at your heart center. So that's a half sun salutation. Let's try one more in a continuous flow with your breath. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, press to lengthen forward. Exhale, to bow in. Firm legs, inhale to rise, gazing up as your palms touch. Exhale, connect to your heart center. So it always returns to the heart, the source of your inspiration or your inner guidance. Now we'll start to move into sun salutation C, taking it to the floor. So arms by your sides, begin in mountain pose, listening to your breathing. From the start, inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, press to lengthen forward. This time, lower your fingertips outside your feet. Exhale, step the left knee back, untuck the toes. From the right heel down as you inhale, circle the arms, lifting your frontal hip bones, engage the lower belly. Exhale, step your hands and knees or legs straight in plank pose and lower forward, hug the elbows to your side ribs, coming all the way down to cobra pose. Point your toes on the mat, pelvis on the floor. As you inhale, lift the heart, relax the shoulders. Tuck your toes, press the ground away, and exhale, lift your hips back. Take a slow breath here as you stretch the spine, lifting your sitting bones up and back as you relax the neck. On your next inhale, raise the left leg back, keeping your hips squared. 
Engage the belly to exhale, softly step the foot inside of your left hand, right knee down. Untuck the back toes. Inhale the arms overhead, coiling your chest up towards the sun. Exhale, lower your fingertips at the top of your mat and step to bow. Inhale, circle the arms overhead again as salutation. Exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. So that's side one, let's take side two in a continuous flow. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Fingertips down, exhale, right knee steps back to lunge. Arms up, stabilize through your legs as you breathe in. Lower to plank pose. You could set your knees down to modify. And exhale, shift forward, then down. Either all the way down or this time come into a deeper back bend. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, lift the pelvis back. Downward facing dog. Pause for a full cycle of breath. On your next inhale, raise the right leg slowly. Engage the belly to exhale, softly step the foot inside your right hand. Back knee down. Inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale your fingertips down, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead to stand. Exhale, back to your heart. So now let's vary it into Sun Salutation A. Again, start in Mountain Pose, cultivate the sound rhythm of your breathing. Inhale, circle the arms overhead into Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, bow into Uttanasana. Inhale, press to lengthen Ardha Uttanasana. Step to plank or jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Either lower all the way or untuck the toes, taking your back bend in Cobra or upward facing dog. With an exhale, lift your pelvis back into downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana. Staying here for three to five breaths to recalibrate the pace of your breathing. As you relax the shoulders, rotate your outer upper arms or triceps towards the earth to broaden across the shoulders and create space for your neck, thus create space for deeper breaths. Then with very bent knees, look past where you want to land your feet. At the bottom of your exhale, holding the breath, walk or lightly jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, fold in. Rooting through your legs. Inhale, rise up, saluting the sun. Exhale, back to your heart center. So that's Sun Salutation A or Surya Namaskar A. Let's move into the last one, Sun Salutation B. So starting at the very top of your mat, bring your big toes to touch, your heels a sliver apart to prepare to sit in chair pose. We'll go right into one breath, one movement. So bend your knees, lean back towards your heels and inhale into chair or Utkatasana. Exhale, bow forward into Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Step to plank or lightly jump into Chaturanga Dandasana. With an inhale, coil your chest up, your choice of cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing, spin the left heel down. Step the right foot forward and as you face forward, inhale to rise into Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. Exhale to lower into your vinyasa, which includes plank, down to chaturanga or the floor, cobra or upward facing dog. Then exhale, downward facing. Second side, spin the right heel down, step the left foot forward. Hips facing forward as you inhale to rise. Warrior one. Exhale to lower through plank pose and into your vinyasa. And hold downward facing dog for three to five breaths to re-steady your attention on your breathing, your mind, your body, and your breath.
then with very bent knees, lift your heels and hips. Look past where you want to land your feet. Hold your breath out as you walk or float the feet to the top. Inhale, rise forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sit back. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale to rise up. So pausing when you do finish all of the sun salutations that you choose to practice. To observe whether standing, sitting, or lying down into corpse pose, which is recommended if you have the time. To observe the effects of your movement, your breathing connected to your mind, to your body. And let this practice of connecting to your body's wisdom and cultivating the intention you set with your mind carry on into the rest of your season. Happy Fall Equinox. Namaste.